How's it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pebble. So today we are looking at a non-LP, non-world best player, 06 World Cup Luka Tony. The reason I want to do this is because a long time ago I used this Luka Tony and I find him a disappointment. But uh, ever since that time I have improved by quite a bit. So I was thinking that you no, know, since I've improved, why not give him another try and see if he is any better. Another reason why I want to review him or even try him is because he seemed like the perfect player to have if you are a crosser. You know what I mean? He's tall and he's got the power hitter trait. And that is very very attractive for a crosser like me. Alright, so let's now start by taking a look at his stats. So he is obviously very very tall, 194-89kg, built like an absolute tank. He's got immense strength, 89 strength. His speed is not very fast, we have to be honest that he is not famed for his speed. But then again, if you are a crosser, your strikers generally don't need to be very fast. Okay, so it's 77 spring, 82 acceleration. Ball control and dribblings are subpar to be honest, 83-83, short passing is 73. His finishing is very good, that's 91, shot power is there, heading is also good, 87, that's important. Uh, volley is sub high, the 3 position is only 82, but reaction is 88, which means that he is like a fox in the box, but very good in the air. Other thing is his balance, I will, I'm, I'm pleased that his balance is 85, which means that he should be able to take more damage. His jump is also very low, 79, but generally from what I can recall, jump stats is not important. Next, his traits and styles. He's got 8 styles. Goal master, finisher, target man, area control. He's a dribble master, tanker, sniper, and acrobatic. Okay, work rate is nah, mid-low, not very good. Like I said in the previous video, the effect of work rate doesn't seem to be very consistent and also not very obvious. Okay, the trait is what is important for me, for Luka Tony, is his power hidden. This is something that changes his ability in the air. So his hitters are supposed to be stronger, more accurate. Now let's take a look at his price. There is a huge fluctuation in his price. Going down to as low as 50 million. It is he's currently 60 million. So even though he's limited, so the price is considered very cheap, even though uh, he's limited, it's only 60 million. Let's now go into the in-game analysis and I'll show you guys how good he is in the air. Okay, so Luca Tony is a crosser's dream. I have to admit it, he is the best player to have if you play a crossing game. Think about it, he's 194 CF, he's got a power hitter track. There is not many defender taller than him other than maybe motorcycle. Even Hamos is I think 192 or something like that, which means that he's got a huge advantage in the air as compared to the other defenders and to top it all up he has the power header trait which means that his haters are super powerful now even if the crosser doesn't come in powerful he's able to generate power on his own as seen by one particular goal in my highlights all right now uh his strength is also very useful basically he is a, a human tank all right he's much tankier as compared to Jogba because of his height and obviously his weight and his strength which makes him extremely difficult to push off the ball so when he has the ball unless you get tackled straight on by him it's difficult for defender to push him off from the side okay in terms of weakness there is a few of them the first one is that he's obviously not very fast so uh, there are some instances whereby he gets the ball and when i try to shake off defenders either by outpacing them or, or twisting and turning it's a little bit difficult because he doesn't have outright pace but that is something that you can rectify by having a upgraded version of him i last saw a plus five for about 900 million right so maybe you can wait a bit and see if a plus five pops up you can also use your stuff and you can also use the growth points to boost his sprints and his acceleration to make him much more speedy another weakness is his stable standing trade now what it means is that he is a very very inflexible player not physically just the sense that he has to play in the striker position okay so when you put him maybe in the center forward position or maybe as a i don't know right striker left striker he might not perform as well as when you put him as st so that is the implication of stable standing but then again it's not a big problem for me because if i ever buy him he is going to be my main striker because of the fact that he wins so many haters. Like I played like 
six games with him if I'm not wrong and every single game he scored at least one of them was with his head okay and, and it's really quite crazy when you see him out jumping the defender out muscling them in the air and just power a header into the net that is something truly truly beautiful all right overall if let's say you are a crosser and you use him correctly i will rate him a 9 out of 10 one mark deducted for his lack of pace other than that he is crazy in the air absolutely crazy better than drop bar better than ibra all right but if you buy him and you only play a high through style, a lock through pass style, or you just play speed, then he's going to absolutely suck for you. He's gonna be shit. Because when you play him, you want to have a slower build up. You want to give him time to get into the box. Okay? If all you do is speed, he's not gonna catch up his one, he's not gonna outrun the defender at all. So that if you are if you're that kind of player and you buy him, you'll find that he's like a 5 out of 10, 4 out of 10. But if you play him correctly, he's devastating. Is he worth it? I would say undeniably worth it. Absolutely worth it. If I'm not using a world best team, I'm gonna put at least 2 billion to make him a plus 6 or plus 7. And he's going to be my centerpiece, okay? He's going to be the main man in my attack. I'm gonna just cross to him every single time and just let him do his thing. If you think about it, Drogba has his own drawback in the sense that he's got low agility, that's one. He's also 189, not very, very tall for a target man, 189, but he's got a power header. And then on the other hand, you have Ibra. Depending on which version, he might be 192 or he might be 195, but he doesn't have the power header trait. Just imagine, you know, if both of them are to have a child together, the child will look like Lukaku. Think about it, he's 194, okay? He takes the height from Ibra, and then he's got a power header trait from Drogba, making him the perfect target man in the air. So if you are a crosser, I have no idea why you are not using him, okay? He is going to be the best player in the air for you, right? And that is all I have for this episode. I hope you guys find this review helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more review videos. And don't forget to comment and let me know what you think about Luca Tony. For those who have used him, for, for those who are potentially going to use him, what are your concerns? I would love to hear from you guys, alright? And I'll see you next time.